yesterday. Today is Sunday, so it came to you yesterday. A divine feather message to get out of the world. And I think it's been about a year. It's a heart box. It's like Diana Virtue's boxes. And it's dark green on the inside. I didn't even know. And I've got a green paper. And light green on the outside. Divine Feather messenger, messenger Deck and Book Set. This inspirational deck brings the angelic insights and healing energy associated with finding feathers. To those who seek divine guidance from a mystical realm, double-sided cards presented present, uh, present the feather art on one side with the watercolour image of the bird and affirmational message on the reverse. The guidebook shares special stories about 44 different birds and relates to their natural symbolism to colours, seasons, elements and special energies. Set includes 44 double-sided cards and 80-page page guidebook. And it's made by US uh, Games Systems and the author is by Alison de Nicole. Okay. And the artwork is from David Schreider. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So, um, this is how it's packed. Oh, right, okay. It's an insert, so you can leave, either use this or leave it out. I didn't know that either, like this. And the bottom is dark green as well, like the lid. So, it's funny that the bottom of this isn't dark green, but just light green. That said, this is a book. And the book has no pictures in it, only the birds. Um, let's start at the front. You've got the introduction to the deck. So, I'm not going to read anything. It basically says, Divine Feather Messages is inspired by my past and continuing personal experiences with feathers, the magical med messages of feathers, the symbolism and connection to the bird kingdom and my great reference and trust in the angelic realm have also encouraged me to bring these energies forward in an accessi accessible and divinely guided way. And yeah, it says many of uh, us are familiar with the idea of finding feathers as an omen or sign of messaging. Okay, and that's by Anson de Nicole. Once you have taste, tasted flight, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to return. Leonardo da Vinci. That's a say. Working with divine messenger. Then we've got spreads and we've got seasons, spring, summer, fall. Uh, spring is new beginnings, rebirth, renewal, growth. Summer, light, expression, action and vitality. Fall, maturity, harvest, change, reflection. Winter, quiet, introversion, introspection, and contemplation. Each season offers us different viewpoint into the bird's kingdom. And then we go to the colors. And it goes from white, black, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, gray, brown, purple, cream, and gold. Let's see if there's any more. Um, those are the colors. And they give you also the meaning of each color. And then it starts with the swan, turkey, eagle, owl. We'll see what goes on. 
and we've got the white swan and you've got uh, the swans are mighty uh, with size and power yet soft their effortless glide in motion the swan has long been a symbol of beauty grace fidelity partnership the symbolism is enhanced by the color white the color of healing purity and and uh, the angelics swan is also a symbol of transformation many folk tales use swan to illustrate the shift from the duckling or the child self into the fullness of maturity goddesses have also chosen the swan as their mount like the divine goddess sarawati who united with the healing element of water in her quest for wisdom knowledge and arts and then you get the message of the swan and the energies you get the energies the season the element is water and air color white and what white means purity and healing affirmation so you can meditate on this affirmation or contemplate the energies are grace beauty fidelity and transformation absolutely gorgeous this lady has also made about five decks on yoga and um, i've written the names down and i'm sorry i've lost this i think yeah i think it's called the mudras and the purity of something or other um so have a look under the name uh alison de nicole and then you can see which decks she's made she's a yoga teacher as well and also an artist among others let's have a look so open the quite slim narrow just take the scissors to it there we go i don't want to damage the glass Those are the feathers and that's the backs. So let's have a look. I'll go through the feathers and then um, we'll go. That's the feather and that's the wren. Be bold and confident. Use all of your resources to create your dreams. That's also a beautiful feather. And that's the woodpecker use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find new rhythm and that is the vulture accept the inevitable let go of the past and welcome a rebirth to begin the turkey honor your own honor your own time of harvest offer your gifts and blessings as service to the greater good and i think this is going to be the magpie no it's a starling now is the time to get out into the world and connect with inauthentic ways the robin new growth and potential is on the horizon reach out and embrace it raven the universe is calling you to notice important synchronicities pheasant the time is right for creation and connection focus your attention in these areas pelican when i went to america Pelicans just literally sit on uh, uh, the poles in the beaches or the harbors. I've seen them, it's lovely. Choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration. This is the peacock. Inherit, inherit wisdom is emerging as this time. Watch it and ready and ready yourself. For a rebirth. The 
current. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It is time to embrace who you really are. Now, your intuition is correct. Follow your inner wisdom without fail. Ostrich. The choice is clear for you now. Follow the wisdom and truth you feel in your heart. Osprey. Your success is now at hand. Allow the abundance to follow to your effortlessly. Oreo. I didn't know that existed. I don't know what it is. A new creative venture is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. Nuthatch. Lovely names. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. Meadow, meadow log, smile. You will soon experience a wonderful journey of inner discovery. Napa. Re-evaluate your priorities. It is time to let go of what you no longer need. Leon, pay attention to your dream time. Messages of guidance are dr uh, drifting in. Kingfisher, prosperity is flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in the perfect form. I love this one. Hummingbird, release what you have been carrying and lighten up. New joy is on the way. Heron, let go of convention and follow your own unique path. Hawk. Pay attention. A powerful message is being communicated to you now. Grabs. Embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. Goose. Your dreams and desires are calling you to action. The journey begins today. Flicker. New rhythms are coming into your life now. You are encouraged to trust and adapt. I love the artwork on this thick. Finch. New opportunities and choices are coming, are opening to you now. Claim them. Falcon. Use your keen perception and skill in making decisions. Do not delay. Eagle. You are learning all the aspects of spiritual connection and reaching new heights. Duck. Find comfort and balance in simply simple ways. You have supported all around you. Dove, feel and allow a deep, deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality. Crow, universal laws and truths are now being revealed. Use this energy to create your reality. Crane, you will soon enter into a beneficial partnerships, luck and long, longer, longer, viti, longer viti. I can't pronounce that, sorry. Bless this union. Longevity, I think. Condor, hold the highest vision for your life. You now possess the ability to move past any hurdles. Chick. 
Chickadee, chickadee. Oh, it's that sweet night, chickadee. The time is right to release old patterns and energies. You are ready to embrace change. Cardinal, that's a beautiful bird. Stand tall and proud. See the leadership leadership role unfolding ahead of you. Canary, step forward now and sing your song. There is power in finding your voice. Blue Jay, beautiful birds. The time is right to access and master your abilities. Do so with humility and humility and control. Bluebird, you are being gifted with blessings and happiness and peace. Blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. The white owl, the wisdom and the messages of the divine are within you. That's the white feather and that comes from the white eagle. The connection to divine guidance is within you. White Turkey, the power to heal earth is within you. The White Swan, the power of the divine grace is within you. Beautiful. Now, I've got a um, modern tarot deck. And you can see the longer and narrower. There you go. And they're very, I think they're 30, uh, 330 grand. They're really substantial cards. They're really hard. And they have a sort of matte, half matte, glossy uh, finish to them. And they sh they're quite long, so if you've got lot short, small hands, it, uh, you might have to shovel them like this. They're long and narrow. And they're very delicate. They, they look delicate, like the birds themselves. I like that they are borderless because it makes the feather pop. I really do. It's Let's see, one, two, three, right. Finch, peacock and white owl. New opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. Inherit wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for rebirth. So the opportunity that's opening up could be a new start, a rebirth. Your inherited wisdom is emerging. The white owl, the wisdom and messages of the divine. So you will, could be, your higher self could be letting you know messages from the divine. Underneath the deck is the pelican. Pelican. Choose to follow the path of forgiveness and raise your vibration. Yes. Now, you, you, um, what else do I get from this reading? Use your wisdom wisely. Don't stall because the pelican's got a pouch in his beak. Don't stall uh, to old stuff. Let go to raise your vibration. Beauty isn't only, out, only on the outside, it's also on the inside is what I'm getting from this reading. You don't, it doesn't matter whether you're small or large. Um, now, let's see. Um, I'm, I'll, the colours we have mainly, we've got all the colours here. We've got um, blue, 
and blue is communication, expression, freedom. We've got blue here. Then we've got white. That's purity, healing, divine incense. And then we have green. Green, green, green. Love, health and compassion. And then we've got brown. Earth, richness and stability. And we've got a bit of yellow as well, I would say. Cheer, self-esteem and brightness. We've got yellow here and yellow in this bird. Beautiful. Okay. Um, and I suppose if you go to the birds and you want, want to know time, the season, then let me have a look. We've got the finch. Finch is 37. Then the time is summer. And then we've got the peacock. Peacock. 59. The peacock, I think that's spring. Yes, spring and fall. And then we've got the pelican. Pelican, pelican, pelican. Pelican is spring, summer and fall. Mm, and the white owl. Sorry guys, uh, I'm using this and have a look. White armor. The white owl is the fall, so we've got fall, spring, summer, we've got fall three times, so that might be, that might be a mis message to somebody in a reading. And also what I see is the owl is intuition, wisdom and knowing. And the pelican, just to give you a, li a little bit of an idea. Pelican is um, forgiveness, self, uh, selflessness and emotions. And it gives you a lot of information for just one little card. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review and um, please share and like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you will be back shortly. Um, because the um, romance readings are coming out and June. Take care and stay safe. Thank you for coming in to watch.